is Brenda Ridley. I'm a program advisor in the School of Health Sciences Continuing Education for the specialty nursing programs for high acuity, ICU, and emergency nursing. Today, the simulations the students participated in was a culmination of work between myself as the program advisor for the emergency nurses and the paramedic program. It was an opportunity to bring the two professions together to work collaboratively managing uh, a patient who's undergone a traumatic event. The first scenario involved a trailer rollover, the patient had multiple injuries, and in the second scenario, a patient actually had a brief cardiac arrest related to injuries, and the team was actually able to recognize these injuries and successfully resuscitate the patient. Simulations like this are important because it simulates what actually happens in your career. It helps you to react to what's happening in the scenario and to your patient, and it reflects what you would really do in practice. Working with students from a different program was very different. We have gotten so used to effective communication amongst ourselves that sometimes we forget that we need to have that same uh, communication with other healthcare providers. So I thought it was different, um, but I thought that it was really crucial as well in our learning. Um, and I actually really enjoyed it because it was, it was the first time that I've probably ever done this. And it was different actually doing it and theorizing how it would go. Having both the paramedic instructors and the nursing instructors here today helped us a lot. I found that I'm used to having feedback from my paramedic Professor uh, Richard Alvarez. So that's kind of what we get we expect on a day-to-day -day basis. Getting feedback from the nursing instructor Brenda was a good change of perspective because we've never talked to each other before. We never did scenarios with her before, and seeing her take from a nursing perspective was really good. And I feel that for the nursing students, having a paramedic instructor's point of view was really helpful for them because they get to see we get to see both sides of the coin from for patient contact to patient transfer to what the nurses do in the emergency room. So having them both there was really helpful to my education. The simulation uh, labs are really great learning tools because you get to practice your nursing skills, your, also your communication skills within your teammates, but also with other professional groups. It helps you to like move your body the way that you would in a real life situation than sitting in a classroom and learning the material and actually applying what you learn into, into a hands-on skill helps uh, reinforce what you learned. Simulations are important to our community partners because our community partners expect that in addition to didactic learning, um, students will know how to behave at the bedside and how to interact with other healthcare professionals as well as how to engage with the patient. Simulation provides the opportunity for students to engage in communications with patients, initiate appropriate interventions, and communicate um, necessary interventions with other healthcare staff in a safe environment.